Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this brand new episode of Editing Your Photos, the series in which I edit your photos. If you want to send yours, send them to bennysubmissions at gmail.com and then now let's get into the first one. The first photo for today was sent in by Sash. Hey Benny, love your videos and your drawings even more. I put on my armor from the last medieval market. I love dragons and they kind of match the theme, right? Would be awesome if you can make something cool with my picture and dragons. Greetings from Germany. Thank you very much. I'm not so sure about the dragons, but I'll try my best to turn this into something epic. And there we are back in Photoshop. So first of all, as usual, I'm gonna take my pen tool and mask this guy out because we don't need his background. Very nice around the edge. There you go. Beautiful. Then I'm gonna make him a little smaller, something like that, I think think and this one is gonna be a fairly simple edit Then I have this photo which could be like the background so I'm just gonna make this a little bigger there you go something like that should probably do it then I just need to erase the edge there you go freaking beautiful and awesome then I actually want to see a little bit more detail in the shadows there you go Ooh, very nice and then the background is gonna be very dark and also very misty because I really just want it to be this really simplistic Edit, and I don't want the attention to go to the background actually so well and then some extra on the edges because for some reason that always looks kind of nice something like that and then I'm gonna decrease the opacity to like uh, something like that then we can make that entire thing even darker I can already see the question marks above your head but don't worry I well I hope it's gonna actually turn out great but I have an idea so you know right now it's just not so great. Just a quick shadow below him. Then I'm gonna try getting rid of the orange reflection from the previous photo. Then also there's quite a lot of green in his armor so I want to get rid of that as well. That is actually a little better yeah. And then to finish the pointy end I'm just gonna well add a pointy end right about there. Beautiful. But then you still may be thinking Benny what the heck are you making? This looks like absolute horse well, I mean, well, yeah, just wait for it. I'm gonna start here and make sort of a nice shape that goes all the way down the sword and then all the way back up like that selection. This is going to be a solid color and to be exact, it's gonna be blue and super bright. And now I think you may be getting what I'm going for. And actually, I also want this bit right here. Then I'm gonna add a bit of feathering. There you go. And now it's time to add a beautiful glow to it. First, I'm gonna make it even brighter there you go so it really sticks out and then I'll paint my first glow on top of it seems like a pretty decent start if you ask me then I'm gonna add a more global bigger glow global <laughs> comedy something like that I mean that's maybe a lot but you know you get the idea and then I will create some nice blue light on the ground below it very nice and this is where the real magic happens look at how beautiful that is gonna set that to screen there you go very nice and this stuff is gonna come from the sword and go all around him so right now I'm focusing on the left one which is gonna go first a little bit to the left and then behind him then I'll erase the one on the right make it look a bit prettier here then of course that needs to be blue as well well, so I'm gonna try and make that about the same color and add some bright areas. There you go. Very nice. That is where it stops. I'm gonna add a glow later, but first I just want to finish this one because clearly that's not where it stops. Then it will continue right about here. I feel like this is gonna look really cool at the end, but I mean, I guess I always do. Then I gotta make that blue as well. Add some of these bright areas again. Very nice. I like that a lot. Now it's time to add some more glow all over here very nice then some particles how about it first some at the sword right here and some smaller ones there you go i mean isn't that nice but of course the most important thing yet the highlights because since there is some very bright blue light we obviously need some nice highlights on the side of his face there it's pretty good and also a little bit on the right side it really does add the last bit of realism it needed then that is what i'm gonna have to do to the entire Thing. Maybe it would actually look very nice if the background is blurred just a little bit. By the way, the green screen didn't work for a second there, but uh, it's fixed now. Sunlight and stuff, it's super annoying. Now, I'm curious what happens when we add a camera raw filter. I'm not saying it's done, but I'm just saying I'm 
curious. Hmm, this is actually an interesting difference. Look at the brightness of the effects. It's, I don't actually know what I prefer. I feel like this isn't even that bad. Look at that. It's a bit more deep and contrastful than what I usually do, but I mean, it's kind of nice. I may or may not add some minor changes to just kind of, you know, fix tiny little issues and stuff, but I think the overall thing is pretty much finished. Let's get back to the studio. And there you go. I'll send this back to you as soon as I can. Then I wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who subscribed to my new gaming channel. I really didn't expect to get 20k subs this fast. So uh, let's see, if we had 100k before the end of this year, I will dye my hair purple. I am going to regret that. Moving on to the next photo. This one is from Aiden. Hey Benny, love your vids and it's awesome how you can see things differently. I hope you can use some of your magic to edit my photo. Demonology, magic maybe? I love glows. Well, that's a good thing because I'm all about them. Let's turn this into something deeply magical. I don't know what my hair is today, but uh, I guess it's there. This one is definitely gonna be the coolest one for today. I'm gonna grab my pen tool again and go all around the edge and then we can replace the background with a stone wall. And there you go, isolated. Then I'm gonna crop this because I think it should be more something like... That seems about right. Then let's make a black background. There you go, very nice. And then for the background, I have this one. I'm just gonna put a bunch of these next to each other to create an entire wall and this whole thing I will then uh, warp now wait distort into a beautiful shape something like that I'm gonna put it below him and then I will actually flip it to the other side and I'm gonna add a nice ambient shadow in the corner there you go something like that let's actually make this guy a little darker already and then I will add a huge shadow to the background on the right as well let's actually make those a little bigger something like that and then let's put the opacity on something 25 ish that is very dark but i think this will look pretty cool in the end i want a light source right above him so i'm gonna put some of this uh, haze mist smoke whatever it is and don't worry this is gonna look better something like that should do it so then i actually need to make a new highlight for this guy so let's use some blend if like that and then we just have to paint all over the desired areas just like so obviously the hair is the most important area right now and we can't forget about the fingers very nice and detailed let's make a nice glow around those bright areas that always makes it look very mystical and then let's decrease the fill a little bit to maybe like uh, 30 just a nice tiny detail. Now let's start doing the actual edit because this is where it gets really cool. This smoke thing right here is going to be some sort of green magic since this guy is clearly going to be a necromancer or sorcerer or wizard. I never know the difference. Like I know the difference between a sorcerer and a wizard, but a necromancer, it's, it's complicated. So this bit right here is coming out of his hand or... He's sucking it up, I don't know, something. It shouldn't be too much though. Something like this should be good. And then obviously I gotta remove it from this area because it's coming from inside the book, just like so. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Then the same thing here. Then let's make that green. Then a nice bright area in the middle. <coughs> then let's add a nice glow. Very cool. There you go. It is time for some highlights. Just a bit here and there, casting the green light onto the shirt. That is starting to look pretty decent. And on the right side a little bit. And probably most notably the fingers. They need some of that green light as well since his hand is literally directly above it. That actually looks very good. Let's do some on his arm here as well. And then I think we've got all the areas done. Oh and of course his face almost forgot. And that's always the hardest part. Especially when there's light coming from below it will always just look a tiny bit weird. Then I think that's most mostly complete. And I think what's very important right now is adding some light on top of these rocks because clearly there's light coming from above but the wall is completely blank so well. That's a problem. So I'm just gonna add some simple lighting on top of the bricks, not too detailed, just a little bit, and hopefully that will fix it. It gives it some more depth and dimension. Let's make his eyes a little more epic. There you go. Yeah, that's that's nice. And a bit of a bigger glow on top of it. There you go. Oh, the, I mean, just look at it. I feel like I've said there you go a million times today, like more than usual. And a tiny bit of a highlight right there. Let's actually add some particles. This is going to fit so well. There there you go. Again, I, stop saying there you go. I can't really stop. It's my thing at this point, but 
it's it's getting out of hand that actually looks really really good this may actually become one of my favorite edits from editing your photos oh well let's just add a camera raw filter let's see starting with clarity look at that this is honestly gonna be the best one yet i mean just look at that small detail though i think this text would be really cool if it actually lit up here we go that absolutely does look really cool and there is the end result as i said this is by far my favorite one so far so uh yeah i hope you like it as well beautiful i'll send this back to you when i get the chance then the final one today was sent in by a thief it's a thief from bangladesh i always wanted to be a knight in shining armor rescuing my princess would love it if you can do your magic i most definitely will try my best let's go let's go and turn this into art i am not even gonna say it honestly i'm not even gonna say it beautiful i found this beautiful sky that i think will look absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna try to put that sort of like that it does have to be a little bit lighter let's actually move that a little bit to the left there oh this one is actually way better oh well now this guy wants to be a knight in shining armor so let's uh fulfill his dream we'll just put this right about there delete that and we're done i'm sorry not gonna happen uh i am going to cut pieces from this one and paste it on this guy because of course we need to keep the original shape for example this bit right here i can just put right about there make it a little smaller maybe and i think this should be about right and that's basically what i'm gonna have to do to the entire thing then let's do the lower leg yep right there and we can even warp them to really make the shape unique and to make sure it actually fits you know i feel like this actually might turn out pretty really really very cool pretty real okay i don't actually think i've ever done this before or have i and did i just completely forgot probably to be very honest this one is actually a little bit harder also i have no idea how the heck i'm gonna fix this hair because this is ridiculous but we'll see i think this is pretty good then the arm and shoulder let's see how that goes something like that should do it and this lower arm is way too fat like what the heck is going on there that is better there you go just copy the same thing on top of it sort of it's definitely better than the hair i mean that's for sure i don't think a knight needs a camera let's make this black i'm actually not sure if we should add the helmet because it does take away a bit of the personality which i don't think is a great plan so i think i'm just gonna leave it off i do think here and there we need to add some shadows to it because the lighting isn't completely correct anymore especially taking into consideration the background so well i'm not actually sure if i like that so much maybe it's the lighting of the overall stuff as well like these rocks maybe i should just add some shadows to those as well now it is starting to look a little better it's just the armor something's not right about the armor but a knight is not a knight without a sword Sword. so uh, very nice maybe it should be a tiny little bit bigger and then for the castle and the background i thought maybe this is a good thing to start with but actually i'm not so sure now we'll just put it right there and then i will remove the sky from it there you go beautiful then let's extend this side there you go and there you have it beautiful island then let's try and add the correct lighting and colors because i don't think that's gonna be as easy as i want it to be but to be fair i don't think anything is okay that's actually pathetic there you go that is better let's add a bit of haze or glow or honestly i don't even know what the heck this is i actually don't think this one is going to turn out well i kind of lost hope at this point maybe it's just me but i don't like the way this looks and actually as soon as i remove the sky less horrible for some reason i can't believe this actually looks better maybe actually square then the only thing i really do want to do is add some birds a few up there this actually does make the image look a bit more interesting for sure let's try the last hope a camera raw filter and and i mean if it's nothing then it's nothing then i'm sorry i will have officially filled sometimes goes wrong and that's totally okay no i i just really don't like it but that might be just me maybe you guys do i don't know i'm just gonna keep it in and see what happens back 
to the studio. These are the photos I edited today, the middle one being my favorite of all time so far. And if you want to see your face here in the next episode, make sure to send your photos to bennysubmissions at gmail.com. Then I guess that is it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very, very free to subscribe. And also hit that bell so you don't miss a single video. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.